Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Bianca. Today I have some Dollar Tree ornaments that I'm gonna be making. I have Dollar Tree twine. I have a canvas that I actually used in a few DIYs ago. I kept this part of it and I used the frame for something else. What I wanted to do was keep it because I really like this off-white color on the back. This is actually the front side of the canvas so you can tell the difference. I'm gonna use this to cover this wooden piece this is from Dollar Tree. This actually comes in a package to build a birdhouse. I'm going to make a gift ornament with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take some of the twine and pull it through to hang it. Oh, and also um, Dollar Tree, of course, has a bunch of ribbon, tons of ribbon. I actually do have some of it right here on the side. This is from there this one so they do have a lot of them but what i wanted to do was use this color because i like it it's a little bit darker this is a 25 foot long ribbon from walmart and it was for five bucks now i'm gonna trace this I cut a piece of the ribbon off and I folded it into three to show me the lines so I can now cut them because obviously this ribbon is thick so I need it to be smaller. Now that I have my lines, I can cut it. I cut the other two pieces and I'm gonna use the edge since it has that wire. This is a wired ribbon and it's just easier to, I guess, maneuver it while I'm making a little bow out of it. For the second DIY, I have this Dollar Tree ornament. Um, it's a pretty nice size circle. I'm gonna turn it around and I am painting this with my Chiffon Cream Rust-Oleum Chalk Paint. This is such a pretty color. And what I'm gonna be making is a snowflake ornament. I have from a pack of stencils from Walmart I'm using this red paint. Normally I always use the Apple Barrel paints, but I've been having this one, so I decided to use this. This is a Christmas red that I bought from Hobby Lobby. I'm just taking a stencil brush like I normally do. You can use a, a sponge brush as well. Real quick, I wanted to say thank you to one of my viewers who asked me to do this video. I love it when y'all give me ideas because it just makes it easier on my to make these type of videos so whoever gave me this idea leave a comment below so I can shout you out now I'm actually outlining the snowflake and I'm just using the paint can and I'm gonna go ahead and outline it with my jet black I want to give it a different look rather than just the creamy paint it looks kind of plain so I believe it'll really stand out with this paint. I'm 
Uh, of course, this isn't centered, but that's fine. I'm gonna add twine to this. And the last pieces I'm gonna add to that is a couple of leaves from greenery and then some little red berries from the Dollar Tree. This is the greenery stem. I don't remember where I got this. This is something I've had since last year. Okay, you guys, for the third DIY, I have this wooden Christmas tree that I'm gonna use for the ornament. This comes in a four or five pack from Dollar Tree. I also have this printout that I made. I will have it linked below if you wanna use it. I couldn't find nothing online. Normally, I try to find something like on Pinterest and then link it down for you guys, but I couldn't find the thing that I wanted. So, and what I'm gonna do is, it's not gonna fit it perfectly. So you don't have to use it on the Christmas tree. You can use it on a different object. So I'm gonna put it on top and I'm gonna trace it out and then we'll Mod Podge it on there. Now I am gonna add the twine through the little hole. Now, lastly, I'm gonna add the Mod Podge to the top just to seal it. For the fourth ornament, I have this other printout that I created. They will also be linked below. I have some popsicle sticks that you can get from Dollar Tree. I am gonna create a little, I guess, farmhouse frame around this to make it look like a little farmhouse sign ornament. I'm gonna mark it off with my pencil. That way I can see where to cut. I'm gonna stain it with this Golden Oak 210B, which you don't have to do, or you can use paint to paint the frame, or you can just leave it like that. It's up to you. Now I'm gonna glue the crab sticks down onto the paper. That's why I didn't cut off all of the edges of it. I removed these two pieces that were on top like this because it leaves a gap underneath right there. So to me, it'll be better if it's laying flat on the cardstock paper. I marked it off already so I can cut it and then glue it flat inside right there. On to the fifth ornament, guys. I have these clear shatterproof ornaments that you can pick up from Dollar Tree for a dollar. I actually just found this in my Christmas stash. 
It came in a four pack that I bought last year from the Target Dollar Spot for only three bucks. So this was actually cheaper. I want to Mod Podge this Dollar Tree ribbon. Now, as you can see, this was actually for fall, but I really like it for Christmas. I love the burgundy and gold color. I'm gonna cut it in half and start Mod Podging it in strips like that. As you can see guys, this can get a little messy. Also good to use your fingers. You will definitely have to have a little bit of patience to do this. So once you get it all on there, I just kind of start pushing this with my fingers up at the top. And what I'm gonna do is just add one little strip right there. So this is almost done drying. The longer you wait for it to dry, the easier it is to put the ribbon where you want it in place. Another option would be if you don't want to mess with the Mod Podge is you can just take your hot glue gun and glue it uh, like at the ends. That way you don't have hot glue everywhere. You can just add some like at the beginning and then maybe like in the middle and back over here at the end so you don't mess with the Mod Podge. As it was drying, like right now, it's so easy to just put it in place. Now I'm going to take some of the twine again and I'm gonna use this to wrap around the top area. I have this bag of pine cones from the Dollar Tree that you've probably seen me use quite a few times lately. I'm gonna glue two of them down right here. All right, you guys, for the sixth and final DIY, I'm making a little candy ornament. Recently I did, well actually my last video, I did a Christmas haul of all of my Christmas decor that I unbought and I had a lot of different like candy picks and different type of candies that I'm gonna put on my Christmas tree. So I decided to use this last clear ornament for that and I'm gonna be taking this Dollar Tree ribbon. It's gonna be really simple. I'm gonna cut some strips Right, I'm gonna put this inside just like that. I don't need this. This is too bulky. I know it looks crazy right now, but I think it'll look pretty cute in the end. I went ahead and cut a little hole at the top where this was that and added the two, well, the string so I can hang it. To tie the ends so it looks like it's wrapped like a piece of candy, I'm gonna use some 
pipe cleaner that I have. Um, I have a few left. You can use twine, more ribbon. I have these bells from the Dollar Tree. I just put them in here from last year. And I'm gonna add two right here on the sides to kind of cover up a little bit of that, the pipe cleaners. So I ended up cutting a little more on the edges of the ribbon just to make it really look like a candy wrapper. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed these six Dollar Tree Christmas ornaments, and I will see you guys in the next video.